If you remember a couple units ago, we talked about functions and the idea of the domain. The domain is the x values that are defined by a particular function. So we have here a rational expression, x plus 1 over x minus 8, and I want to know what is the domain, and I want to write it in interval notation. So what I need to do is I need to know what x values, what inputs are going to be valid. Well, in the case of a fraction, there's only one thing that we cannot do. We cannot divide by zero. If you don't believe me, check out and see what your calculator says when you do five divided by zero. It's going to give you an error. So to find the domain of a rational expression, you do this. The only part that matters is the denominator. You can ignore the numerator when you're finding the domain. And I am going to say that x minus eight cannot be equal to zero. If I have zero in the denominator, that is bad. So now I'm going to add eight to both sides and I get that the value that x cannot be is eight. So this is the limitation of the domain. There's only one value in the universe that we can't use. Here's how we write this in interval notation. We learned earlier in the class that to write all real numbers in interval notation, you go from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. But now we have to jump over the value eight because it's not part of this set. So what you do is you say, okay, I can do all the numbers that are less than eight. So everything to the left of eight on the number line. And then I can do everything that is bigger than eight on the number line. Notice I'm using parentheses here because X cannot be equal to eight. I'm going to put a union symbol right here. That U stands for union. And union means I am joining those two sets together to make one bigger set. So this is the domain of this rational expression.